Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now let's get our hand dirty and try to do some examples using the process builder so we will learn more about process builder. So let's say we have a business requirement that we need to work on. So let's take a look at what the business scenario is. John is working as a system admin in a universal containers. That's the name of the company. He has received a requirement from the management to auto create a contract as soon as accounts get created in Salesforce. So whenever an account gets created in Salesforce, at the same time, we also want to create a corresponding contract related to that account. And that contract should have these values. So the contract terms will be 12 months. The start date for the contract will be whenever the account got created plus 90 days from there. The status of the contract will be in draft and it will automatically will be connected to the account that it created for. So whenever let's go back here and let me explain to you what the requirement is. So let's go back to our developers account here. And as you can see here, this is the drop down menu. Let's say we go to sales here, let's say, and you see we have accounts and con contracts are these are the two different uh, standard objects that we have. So whenever we go ahead and create a new account, then it should also create a contract. And in a contract, these are the fields. You have an account name, the status is there. Then you it also asks you for the start date and also there is a contract terms available. So all these values we will auto populate whenever we create a new account record. So this is our requirement. Whenever we create an account record, we also want to automatically create a contract and the, by these are the values that you want to auto populate. So the contract terms will be 12 months. The start date would be account create date plus 90 days. The status will be in draft and it will auto relate it with a new account. So this is what the requirement is. How we are going to go ahead and do this requirement. In order to do this requirement, we can create a process. So let's go ahead and fulfill this requirement by our process. So we'll go back to our setup here and we are going to go back and we're going to type in process builder in the search box. We're going to go ahead and click on this process builder. So the first thing is we are going to create a new process. So let's go ahead and click on this new button here. And what is the name of the process? So let's say we call it as auto create new contract so this is the name of the process auto create a new contract and once you tab out this particular api name will automatically get created and there is no spaces you are having underscore in order to connect these words then the description let's say we call as auto create a new contract when an account gets created okay and when do you want this, uh, the process starts whenever a record changes. Okay, so this is what our, we have created a new process and then go ahead and hit the save button. So this is what the canvas looks like. So we have to fulfill all these values. We have to provide which object the process is for, what is the criteria, what action do you want to take, all those things. So the first thing is, let's go ahead and click on this add object. So choose the object and specify when to start the process. So what is this object for? The object is going to be account, right? Because this process is for the account object. Whenever the account object gets created, we want to automatically create the contract object. So the object that we're going to select here would be account because the process is for the account object. So whenever you start typing the name, automatically it will show you the options. And then let's go ahead and click on this. Choose the account object from the Dropbox. Then next thing is start the process. Now, when do you want this uh, process to get started? Only when a record is created or when a record is created or edited. See, 
We do not want to create a contract record every time you edit a account record. We only want to create a contract for the first time when an account record gets created. So we are going to go ahead and select this radio button because we do not want to create a contract every time you make changes to an existing account, right? So this time we are going to select this option. And then under the advanced section, you see there is a recursion button. It allows the process to evaluate a record multiple times in a single transaction. So we do not want to do that either. Because if you select this option, then this process can e evaluate the same record up to five times in a single transaction. So we do not want to reevaluate this again and again. So we are going to leave this as it is. And then we are going to hit the save button. So now we have selected the object. So object is account. The next thing that we have to specify is which all records of that account object you are interested in. So you're going to go ahead and specify the criteria. So in this case, we do not have any criteria it means there is I want all the records to be part of it, right? So we do not have any criteria. So no criteria, just execute the action. So we do not want the specific records. Anytime a new account gets created, that's when the contract record should get created as well. So here we are going to go ahead and select no criteria. And then let's say the name is always. So it means whenever an account object gets created, then we are going to specify the actions and we want all the records. I'm not talking about specific records. If you want to specify that, hey, only include the uh, accounts which are in active status or only include the accounts which billing state is Texas. If you want to specify those criteria, you can do that here. But if for this business scenario, we do not have any criteria that we need to meet. So we are going to say no criteria and just execute the actions. So once you have provided this information, let's go ahead and hit the save button. The process is created for account. The criteria we have specified. Now the last step that we need to do is we need to add the actions. We wanted to create the contract immediately, right? We do not have to wait for five days in order to create the contract. So in that case, we are going to choose immediate actions instead of the schedule action. So go ahead and click on this add action. Now you have a good list of actions here. You can select, you want to invoke an Apex, uh, Apex class, create a record, email alerts, flows, post to chatter, processes, quick action, submit for approval, update records. We're going to take a look at all of these, but for now we want to create a record, right? So we are interested in creating a contract record. So the action name would be create a record. Now, what is the name of the action here? Because we are creating a record. What type of record are we creating? We are creating a contract record. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and say create contract record. That is the name of our action. Now, what is the record type? So the record type we are interested in is contract, right? So go ahead and uh, look for contract because we, we want to create a contract record whenever an account record gets created. So here we're going to specify the record type. Then next we have what are the values that you want to provide for that record? Because see, in the contract record, there are some required fields. So if you go back to your Salesforce account and if you go to this contract records, you will see there are a couple of required fields. So these are the required field. The status is a required field. The start date is a required field. Contract term is a required field. So these are the required fields. And then there is a uh, account name is also a required field. It means you cannot save this record without providing these values because the, all these are required values. So what we're going to do is we are going to create this contract record and we will also specify all the required values for the contract record. So here the first thing is the ID. So this is going to be account ID. Basically, it's a reference for which field. So from the account object, there is a field called ID. And from that ID, that's what we are interested in. So we are interested in the account ID. So here you're going to choose. So from the account ID, we are going to go ahead and refer that. So basically, this value will be provided.
okay now the next thing is this the contract start date so we need to provide the start date of the contract so here you're going to specify the start date so here you can look for you can just type in start date this is going to be the contract start date and what is the value of that that should be 90 days plus the account created date so this should be the start date of the contract so what we are going to do is it is a formula right it's a formula because when what is the formula is the formula would be start date of the account plus 90 days so here we are going to go ahead and look for a function called date and time and there's a function called date value so we're going to pick that value here date value and we are interested in which date we are interested in the account created date so the field is created date of the account so we can say get this created date so account created days plus so you're going to say plus 90 days so we are saying that get the date from this account created date and add 90 to it means three months after the account has been created then let's go ahead and use this formula so that's what the contract start date would be and then the next field that we want to set up is the status field right so the next field we want to set up is the status field so let's go ahead and uh, look for the status field here and what it should be it should be in the status draft okay so we should auto populate these values of the contract so we are setting up the account name we are setting up the date start date and we are setting up the status all these things the last thing that we need to do is we need to set up the contract term so we're going to go ahead and specify the contract terms so here we are going to look for contract terms and it's a number right and what should be the value it should be 12. so we are auto populating all these values of the contract record so whenever the account whenever the contract records gets created these would be the values so let's go ahead and hit the save button so we have finally created our first process as you can see here this is the name for the process if you want to go back to the setup this is going to be the link we next thing that we need to do is once we have created the process so let me go ahead and give you a quick overview what we have done so our requirement was this the requirement is as a john is a system admin in universal containers and he has a requirement from the management to auto create a contract as soon as an account gets created in salesforce and auto populate these values in the new contract so the contract term should say 12 the contract start days should be 90 days from the account created days the status of the contract should be in draft and it should automatically relate it with the new account so what we want to do here is we were we created we specified the object that we wanted to create the process for then the criteria we is like all the records should be part of this and the action that we want to do is we wanted to create a new contract record and these are the values that we specified we specified the account id should be the this is account name should be fetched from here then the date and then the contract start date should be the account date created date plus 90 days the status would be in draft the contract term would be 12 okay now we are going to go ahead and hit the activate button here so activating this process automatically deactivates any other active version so let's say if you have created another version of this process then what will happen is it will deactivate those older versions that you have created under this process name and now we wanted to go ahead and just confirm this we're going to go ahead and hit the confirm button so now we have activated this process so now let's go ahead and test it so we're going to go ahead and test our process in the next tutorial so i will see you then thank you